Happy Christmas Eve to y'all. Everybody waking up to this glorious breaking news. Adam Schefter, Aaron Wilson, everyone around. It's glorious to see that CJ Stroud is back. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host is always Harley Dugan. Yes, I said it in the intro. CJ Stroud is back, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Christmas Eve. And that is a great present gifted to you in the morning. Absolutely great to see CJ Stroud is back. Now, he's not playing in today's game, but he is trending and progressing towards coming back the next week. And now he will be back for the final two weeks against the Tennessee Titans in the Indianapolis Colts. Houston Texans still have to take care of business today. That's a big thing for them. They have to take care of business today. All right. These games are must win. We all know this. The trajectory of the Houston Texans right now with CJ Stroud is obviously positive. This is great to hear. While you're here, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. Wow. Can't believe it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Remember, this is the lead where it's all Houston all the time. Drop your comments down below, ladies and gentlemen. I want to know how excited are you about CJ Stroud being back for the Houston Texans? I cannot contain it that much. Getting more hyped and hyped doing this video because CJ Stroud is back and we can throw those rumors away that, you know, he could have been out for the rest of the season. No, he is back. Two-week layoff and now we're going to have him against Tennessee Titans in the Indianapolis Colts. I cannot wait to see CJ back at quarterback, slinging the rock, doing his thing. 20 touchdowns, five interceptions so far to the year. He's had a magnificent rookie year and now can go back on pace to maybe getting that rookie of the year. Maybe. That is a conversation for another day, and I'll have a video on that separately. The Houston Texans, as of right now, they do not have CJ Stroud playing in today's game. It's going to be case Keenum. George Fant should be back at right tackle. Nico Collins is at wide receiver. So with this good news, the Houston Texans know that, hey, if you take care of business today, move to nine and six, got to have defense play good. The running game's got to be there. You got to have at least average to good play from Case Keenum. It's a little bit of an ask, but we saw in the second half that Case Keenum and the Houston Texans actually looked really good moving the ball down the field offensively. With the addition of Nico Collins, it should help even more. So the Houston Texans, they know what's in store. Having C.J. Stroud now back, you can go to 9-6. and six. You're looking at these last two games. You're licking your chops a little bit, and you're going, hey, I can win these last two games. And maybe the division is not so crazy to talk about, but playoffs is where it is right now. The Bills did win last night. That knocked the Texans out of the playoff race. The Houston Texans have three games left, including the Browns today. Again, you got to take care of business. The playoffs, the fate of it is in your hands. Do what you must. The Houston Texans hopefully get that win today. Strong defense, strong run game. Kaimi Fairbairn, three field goals. CJ Stroud is back, ladies and gentlemen. I am so ecstatic to be talking about it. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.